go get your gun, get your gun, and let's find out what it does. Shoot, 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 shoot. We have been waiting if we win and if the morning light sets in. The first thing we need to do is safety check this shotgun. So we are going to turn on the safety by pulling the hammer back about a quarter inch. Now the safety is on, so the trigger can't be pulled and the slide cannot be opened. So we're going to flip the weapon upside down and visually inspect the magazine tube, and we see there is no ammunition in that tube. Now we need to open the breech. So to do that, we're going to pull the hammer all the way back. Now we're going to depress the slide release button and action the slide. Now we can both visually and physically inspect the chamber and see there is no round in there. And the breech itself is free from obstruction. So at this point with the shotgun pointed in a safe direction, we're going to close the slide and we're going to manually lower that hammer back down to the safety position. This weapon should be kept safety at all times and that is with the hammer in the half cocked position which is a quarter inch away from the firing pin. This will disable the trigger and disable the slide. So this weapon is completely safe. Since we know there is no round in the chamber, we can lower that hammer by squeezing the trigger and letting our thumb ride it to the firing pin. At this point, we've now unlocked the slide, so this weapon can be racked. When we rack the shotgun, the hammer moves from flush with the firing pin into the wide open position. When this weapon is wide open, pull the trigger and the hammer falls. This weapon has three buttons. There is a slide release button and then two magazine tube release buttons. When the two magazine tube release buttons are pressed, all of the shells in the magazine tube will be ejected. The slide release button is how we can action the slide when there is a round in the chamber without having to discharge that round. So, for demonstration purposes, I have loaded two live rounds into the magazine well, and we're going to rack one of those rounds into the chamber itself. So, the safest way to do that is to pull the hammer all the way back, push the slide release button, and action the slide. So at this point, we now have one round in the magazine tube and one round in the chamber. The hammer is all the way back, so we need to safety this weapon. We're going to do that by putting our thumb on the hammer and manually riding it to the half-cocked safety position. Now, we need to eject the round that's in the magazine. We'll do that by using the magazine release buttons. Now we still have a round in the chamber, so what we're going to do is pull the hammer back again, depress the slide release button, and action the slide. There we can see our round it has been ejected. Again, we visually and physically inspect the chamber and the breech. Point it in safe direction and lower the hammer. Go get your gun, get your gun imposing penance one by one. You've got the last thing we're going to talk about is how to break down this shotgun for cleaning purposes. Personally, I have two rules when it comes to cleaning firearms. Rule number one, all ammunition must be stored in another room. That way, it is physically impossible for me to accidentally load a live round into a weapon that I'm cleaning. Rule number two, you must perform a safety check on all firearms before you disassemble them. And this is because some of the firearms that I own require you to pull the trigger before you break the weapon down. And this is how people accidentally shoot themselves while cleaning weapons at home. So, because all the ammunition is in another room, we're going to perform that safety check. There's no round in the magazine. Pull the hammer back, push the slide release, action the breech, and we can visually and physically inspect the chamber. There is no round in this weapon. So, now let's talk about how to clean this shotgun. First thing you gotta do is break it down. So we're gonna take the side with the breech, and we're gonna turn it down to face the table. This gives us access to the peg at the end of the magazine tube. We're gonna take that peg and we're gonna press it until it pops out the other side. Now that it has popped out the other side, we're going to grab the peg and use it like a handle to rotate the entire magazine uh, tube a half a turn counterclockwise. Just like that. 
Now we take the slide and we push it two inches towards the end of the barrel. You notice that we now have access to some threading that was at the back of the magazine tube and this helped hold the weapon together. Now that that threading is gone, we're going to go ahead and grab right here where the threading was and twist the weapon. And when we twist it, we see the two parts come right apart. Now, let's talk about the housing on the hammer and the trigger first. Notice that they are still operational, so they can be actioned. But the second time we do that, we're going to notice that the bolt starts to slide back a bit. And when we slide the bolt all the way back, the breech door opens with it. So now we have access to all the parts that we need, uh, and we can get in there with a the brush and with our patches and our gun scrubber. So once that's nice and clean, we're going to go ahead and take the bolt and close it just like that. And we're going to take the breech door and using a finger go ahead and push that down. You can see right now that the breech door and the hole don't quite line up. But when I use my thumb and push them down, now the breech door lines up perfectly. So when we pull that trigger, the hammer will fall. The slide should be pretty self-explanatory. You can pull the slide down and now you have a little bit of access to the cracks in between the slide and the barrel. And you'll notice that the slide rod comes out a little bit. So you can get in there and clean in between those cracks as well. So let's go ahead and reassemble this weapon. First thing we're gonna do is take that slide and we're gonna hold that in our left hand and we're gonna take the base and hold it in our right. Now we're gonna line up the threading on the barrel with the larger hole and they're gonna be situated about 90 degrees off from one another because we need to take that slide and simply rotate it clockwise 90 degrees until the shotgun resembles something we're used to seeing. But you'll notice we still have visual access to the threading on the magazine tube and that's because it has not yet been reassembled. So we need to take that magazine tube and slide it about two inches back towards us and when everything is lined up perfectly we're gonna take that peg rotate it another half turn clockwise this time and then press the peg to reapply the lock. So one last overview on the procedure for breaking down this weapon. First thing, grab the peg at the top of the magazine well and press it. Rotate half a turn counterclockwise. Take the stock two inches forward towards the end of the barrel. Rotate the weapon. It comes apart. Let's put it back together. Line them up offset. Rotate them until they are flush. Pull the magazine tube back towards the trigger. Rotate the peg half a turn clockwise, reapply the lock, and action the slide. That's it. Alrighty, sir. Uh, that's pretty much it. I think it was pretty thorough. So, um, you know, enjoy the shotgun. Peace.